go. Let's see what's going on. What is going on? Oh, there's the clip. Uh, seals. <laughs> All right, jump in. Their coats are kind of like, um, hello. Hi. 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 Their coats are kind of like, um, like baby teeth. You know how we get adult teeth? Yeah, yeah. Dogs and cats have baby coats when they're little, and other animals do too, just to give them extra insulation and protection because mm. they're babies. Mm. <clears throat> and um, some I don't I don't know about cats so much, but some dogs, like water dogs, will have baby coat, and then they grow into two to three different coats, like an undercoat, a water coat, and then their regular coat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're discussing the finer points of uh, baby seals that were recently spotted. Oh. Mm -hmm. And they are... At, were they at yeah, a club? No, uh, Boone. <laughs> why? not at a club. <laughs> Good, because those baby seals are too young to go out clubbing. <laughs> Uh, no, these are, uh, uh, rare black seal pups. They have, oh. like, a black velvety fur. It's very, very pleasing to look at. Oh, okay. Absolutely. And as, as Fish was saying, very much would like to pet, but, uh, wild animals, so, you know, probably shouldn't, but, you know, puppy. Yes. And their pups, <laughs> their pups are gray, and they have, like, black speckled points and fur spots and the one picture that I put up is one shedding its pup uh, fur and mm -hmm. getting into its little adult fur. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, I, I really do want to pet one, but... What the hell are her... Escape from the hook, off the record, activates for 70 seconds. While off the record is active, your arm will not be shown to the killer, and grunts of pain caused by injuries are reduced by 100%. After uh, repairing a generator for at least 3 seconds, it will be highlighted to you with a yellow arrow. The generator stays highlighted until it is fully repaired. You repair a new generator or enter a locker. I can shoot a loud noise indicator for the killer at the highlighted generator's location. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, press the active ability button while healing another survivor without a med kit to instantly heal them from the dying to injured or from injured to healthy. What the fu- Oh, you become injured and broken for a hundred seconds. And you become the obsession! <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not a good trade-off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. It's like, oh, that seems really- I mean, if it was just, like, injured for a short time, yeah. Then well, I mean, you just become injured. That would be a thing. Yeah, maybe a swap. Yeah, you try. Yeah, you tread. You're like, okay, you're fully healed, and now I'm busted. And then the other person uses their same perk on you, and you just trade off being injured. Hmm. That could be funny. Uh, but anyway, I hmm. guess I guess I'll just be getting a Zarina adept. No big deal. NBD. So what have the killers been like so far tonight? Well, the our first game we stomped the shit out of a baby wraith. Yeah. But he he bad mannered me because I made him chase me for like two minutes. <laughs> uh, so that was fun. Mm -hmm. we and we, we we've had a couple a couple shitty ahead. randoms, but nothing nothing like too infuriating. I'd say just kind of like. Very much so like it, it, it reminds you of just like even, I mean, three people is pretty good. Four is obviously optimal, but it, it's yeah. a reminder of like when you cut down to two, it's like shit. Yeah, half your squad is just chaotic and not like yeah. like a known chaotic, like dizzy. Uh -huh. Oh shit. But see, yeah, now it's, uh, 
now it'll be better because yeah, yeah. If, there's just, if there's just one rando it's like well you better Fuck them. get get with the program or get dead yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're on your you're outnumbered bitch get good or get dead mm. cosmetics for her but they have mostly oh, been rank one i have noticed the killers oh uh, good. I, I i haven't been checking the ones that have been kind of bad because i've just been hopping out immediately out of shame right like uh okay you got me like i'm gonna leave now <laughs> We were also, um, talking about the Bernie memes. They're so good. It's my favorite <laughs> meme. <laughs> I just, I can't because the video version of that fellow's done nothing but stare at me <laughs> to arrive. Very good. Me up. I was in tears this morning when I saw that. Oh my god. <clears throat> Yeah, I've seen some. I saw a flutter of um, Bernie memes uh, splicing him into horror stuff on Twitter earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was also very, very good. Darcy's been posting him a lot. Yeah, that's probably where I saw most of them was through her. Yeah, I can definitely see how I, I never beat Resident Evil when I was younger. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> like, it used to be, like, kind of a point, point of shame where I'm like, yeah, I never beat it. Like, I love the series and whatnot, but, like, I never beat the, the original game, like, ever. Mm. I played the shit out of it, but I never beat it. And now, like, even though, like, Remake is different, it's still, like, a lot of it is the same. Like, the layout of the house is largely the same, and... Yeah. Whatnot, and like the general like vibe of it is the same. And like, yeah, no, now I now I remember one of the instigating factors of just like being completely lost and not knowing what the fuck to do or where to go. Yeah. And, and hitting moments like I did tonight where I'm like, yeah, I don't really know what I need to do next. Like I've got a general idea, but like that's it's so far away, and I I really don't feel like running all the way back over there right now. So, for, oh god. Oh, I was just saying, and for, for me, when I originally played them, I was much younger, and the games, like, legitimately did freak me out, so I'd be like, yeah. Uh. Yeah, so there's that, too. And, like, honestly, like, playing this one, like, yeah, it's like the hunters jumping out and the spiders and whatnot. Like, yeah, no, I'm getting, I'm getting spoops from it. Mm hmm. But, yeah, no, between that and just, like, kind of being lost or, like, having an idea of where I need to go, but it just being, feeling like it's so far away. Yeah. Just kind of killing I my think... momentum. And, yeah. like, in the past, I would just be like, all right, I'm going to take a break. And then I just would never pick the game back up again for so long right. that I would have to start over. Um, yeah. So it's nice doing it on stream because, like, yeah, no, I'm going to come back next week and I'm going to fucking keep grinding it out. I'm gonna fucking beat it. Yeah, I was like, saying, I, whatever, I feel man. like you're getting close to the end. I haven't, like, I played it, like, three years ago, so I don't remember everything, but, like, it feels yeah. like, especially with your, like, clearing the map and stuff, like... Yeah, at least, yeah, in the in the mansion. Even though there's still some stuff in the mansion I can't get to, but I, I feel like, because I have that battery, and I know where the battery goes... Mm -hmm. But again, the battery is like, I have to go all, all the way back outside the mansion, I have to, like, run across the pool area, go all the way around, like, Snake Hall, like, go, like, do a huge loop just to get to the where I need to put the battery in, mm -hmm. and then I, you know, what's past the battery? Like, am I gonna ride another elevator and then go into another room, and it's like, oh, you can't go in this door, because fuck you. Yeah. Well, I, I'll tell you something. I, you may have to do all those things, but I did notice on, on your stream, I, I have a, a recommendation for you. Oh? There is a mod you can install 
that skips every the door animations between rooms, oh. and it saves you so much fucking time. I uh, and that's, I would and that's believe personal it. preference thing. Yeah, I would believe but when it. When I played, yeah, um, I was like, yeah, I know I'm gonna be running back and forth and shit. I do not <laughs> want to watch these doors a million times over. But See, uh, yeah, it's a personal preference thing. It is because I'm like that would like like just functionally yeah no that's gonna save a huge amount of time because yeah, i think I'm just impatient as fuck uh, yeah but for me it's like like i kind of like the door animations like that's like okay. classic resident evil to me so like they don't bother me at all. like like the backtracking and the loop to loop and like not knowing where i need to go mm. like that's more frustrating than walking through a thousand doors and watching like a 10 oh. second animation okay to we're, me. we're the absolute opposite yeah. <laughs> now, but, maybe... uh, but I mean, for for a stream, it's it's whatever because it's yeah, it's not my game, and I'm not saying like you should. I just wanted to bring it to your attention because I didn't oh, know yeah, no. how you felt about. Uh, no, games. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> like it's mildly tempting, but at the same time, I, I think I would miss the door animations if they weren't there. Yeah. I'd be like, Nah, man, that's no, they, they, that's they, OG they, Resident they, Evil, baby. They like, have their on. place. I mean, yeah, and it was it was definitely you know a lot because of like loading times. And oh yeah, and yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I get it. But I can also see the appeal of just like yeeting them the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> just like how I was, yeah, pretty sure like several of the puzzle things and stuff that you've done, I'm like, yeah, I remember looking that up. <laughs> yeah, like, it's a fucking billiard table, like, mm -hmm. it, it makes me happy that there is a way to figure it out in-game, because, like, there had to be. Like, I knew I was missing information, I just didn't know where to look for it. Um, and yeah, yeah. knowing it was looking at, look at the balls on the billiard table in that one room, like, just made me so mad. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, this. I'm so vindicated in just asking chat to cheat for me at this point, because fuck that. Yeah. Like, there's some really good classic puzzles in Resident Evil. That's not one of them. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I, I do recall. Oh. Oh no, you got you first. Oh yeah, I, I was gonna say yeah. I remember do having a, or having a pretty good time though on my when I did my playthrough of that game. Yeah, I'm I'm having a good time like playing it for for real. Especially mm -hmm. since remake, like I got it on GameCube. Like I maybe played it part of it like once, and then I think I watched my my friend Joe play through the rest of it. So I mm -hmm. kind of got to experience it, but I don't really have. A huge amount of memory from it, so it's it's cool going through one just Resident Evil, um, and just properly doing it on my own with chat's help occasionally, oh, yeah. um, and then also just experiencing it because like there's huge chunks of of the remake game that like I just I did not remember or I didn't see like I, maybe I was in the bathroom when he was in those parts or something. So it's like it's like a familiar and yet new experience and it's also cool to like have it be crossing it off my like bucket list of games to play and be yeah And it's nice to see like you know on the inside baseball side of things like it's nice to see that like both last Friday and this Friday people have been shown turning out for it like which which also feels good Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I remember that's what you were playing this Friday, and I was... Yeah, once I finally wrapped up from this goddamn stressful last week, I was like... <laughs> kind of like on Wednesday, I was waffling between like, uh, do I want to hang out, do I not? And then I was like, well, it's Resident Evil, that's kind of fun. And then, like, mm -hmm. I got on and I saw Fish playing DVD, I was like, alright, yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna right, hang out. fine, you've convinced me. Yeah, like, I, 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 hang out <laughs> I was like, I was innocently just. Oh, uh, looks like an AFK doctor. Oh, hey, okay. so anyway, that's how you get adept Zarina. Like, it's not even oh. hard. <laughs> you always have that luck when you're uh, adapting a character. It really seems that way. Like, there's not been many. Like, I think Lori was the only one it took like a couple of tries with. And that's because fucking object of obsession is 
straight dirt trash. Oh, I think he's back. I just saw a little shot go oh. off. But he's definitely at a disadvantage. Good. Oh, hello. Yeah, he missed me. <laughs> he was not looking over here. And now he's just going that way. Away from the generator that has been worked on a little bit. Alright. <laughs> oh, it's being worked on currently. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, what were you gonna say, Fish? Oh, uh, give me a second. All right. He's over here by me. Well, he do be coming this way a little bit. Oh no! Oh, he, I was shit. looking into his eyes! <laughs> his frosty doctor eyes. Ah, oh, fuck! Oh. My brain. <laughs> Get stunned, oh, fuck oh, it! Oh, Good guy, Joe. Yeah. Uh, so, what I was gonna say is the Oval Paw Fest uh, answered a question the other day with who's the first cat, and that's Winston Biden, who's black with the white little tip on his nose. Excuse nice. me? Oh, the oh, like in the White House. Yeah, he's that the first coldest. cat. I was like, like the first cat ever, like in history. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was so confused. The wait, coldest, the cat wait. Of the so, United States. so, let me get this right. Fuck. Um, just because I don't fucking know, but I've just seen like context shit, maybe. So, so Biden's got two dogs and a cat. Yes, he's got two German shepherds and a cat. All right. Has there ever been a, a first cat before? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Bill Clinton had one. His oh. Name was oh, I do vaguely remember that. There's a famous picture of a bunch of photographers on the ground with their cameras all up in the cat's face, and the cat has a look <laughs> on his face of like, what are you people doing? Because <laughs> you always hear, you hear about like the first dogs. Mm -hmm. You don't really hear too much about the first cats. I feel well, like I feel like Clinton may have been the last one to have a cat. It's quite well, possible. We were, well, uh, yes, absolutely, that's true. However, <laughs> Champ is the first adopted dog in the White House. Oh, all right. Um, and Winston is the first black cat in the White House. He's a black cat. Yeah, he's a black cat with a white tip on his nose. Oh dear. <laughs> well, looks like looks like I need to call up Nick Cage and plan a Great American Heist. Because apparently Joe Biden has my cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna visit from the Secret Service. And be like, were you threatening the first cat of the United States? Sir? Absolutely not. Well, kind of, <laughs> but like only only in good natured fun. Well, that door is almost open. Threatening to kidnap the first cat of the United States, sir, is a very, very serious event. <laughs> yeah, he has security. So the question, the question was, what's the White White House cat protocol? Like, is there a handler for the cat? Can it oh, just wander wherever? I feel like this needs to be addressed, or this needs a deep dive as we oh, prepare hey. for White. He has a totem. White House cat watch. Oh, it's thrill of the hind. Oh. Yeah, it's not Noed. He hit me after we finished the gens. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I'm at the other gate, so yeah, we can leave whatever. Shock me. Yeah, I'm also at this gate. I'm just gonna let him shock me for a minute. I feel like he's trying to get something. Oh, yeah, I was gonna get some heal points. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's nice to see pets in, the, in there again. Yeah. Cause like I don't even want to say his fucking name. Uh, so no. did the last one even have a pet? No. no, no. He refused. Yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah. So now there's yeah, fun, fun pets and yeah. people with souls. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Okay, maybe that's a bit M more souls. Uh, yeah, a bit yeah. more. Yeah. I don't wanna. I don't wanna get too too far away, but. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Okay. There. I mean, honestly. Nope. No, I don't. I don't think. Uh, around, I don't trust you. <laughs> that's all. That's all I'll say about it. No, I'm. Mean, yeah. Anyway, that's how you get Adept Serena. Like, it's not even hard. Like, yeah. I don't even understand why only, like, 0.9% of players in this game have the achievement, because it's just, like, just sitting there, so easy to grab. So, wait, let me let me finish the rest of this. Yeah. Um, good job, Adept Serena. <laughs> <laughs> it says, Hi, Asha, Winston Biden here. I am the de facto CODIS. As I am the only biting cat right now, I live with my mom, but I can go to the White House during the daytime if I want to, like I did today. And yes, there's some supervision involved. I have a security detail. Meow. Oh, <laughs> shit. That is actually really cool. <laughs> Somebody get, like, a little documentary crew to show me a day in the life of the cat being guarded by the Secret Service. Yes. <laughs> also, Here. apparently I need to join the Secret Service, but explicitly for cat detail. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, maybe you could, you could you could convince him. It's like, yeah, I don't have as much training, but I mean, it's the cat, not the president himself. You, yeah, you could like, let me guard the cat. Like. Do, dude, I've had cats for years. Like, I could, <laughs> I could, I could keep this cat safe by taking him back to my place. <laughs> <laughs> I put it in your Emacs. Look oh, at him. nice. Oh, ho, 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 dear. <laughs> Braxy has a brother. <laughs> well, then I just go follow that Twitter account. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I followed it as soon, as soon as I saw it. I was like, oh, no, because I've been watching. Because in November, they, uh, Biden said if he won and got into the White House, um, he was going to... The, the dogs weren't it, like just it. Like he was going to bring a cat into the White House too. And so everybody's been following to see what, who the cat was going to be. And I think he's an adoption too. Like they do a lot for the shelter. Yeah. And then of course there's Kamala's little labradoodle puppy. Oh my God. Alright, I will be right back while we're queuing. Okay. Uh, of course, another black cat named Bagheera. I think everybody except for, like, you has named their black cat Bagheera. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my baggie was special, though. Boo. Now I'm just looking at cat pictures. All these people are posting their cats and I'm like, these babies are so cute! <laughs> <laughs>
two more adepts to get. Who do you have to get adepts <clears throat> on? Um, Felix and Elodie. Nickelodeon. Some people used to call me that when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> one curl on the left side of my head that I just can't stop playing with because it's like a perfect curl. <laughs> it springs back into place no matter what I do to it. If I get it separated, it springs into like three little curls. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> Do what? Oh, hold on. I'll post it in your Emacs because I'm just in love with these. <laughs> 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 I forgot what I was going to say. I scrolled and saw that and I, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, you want to know something really gross? Sure. So, so a lot of my friends, a lot of, hi, oh, a lot of my friends buy wigs and like, they always check their wigs whenever they buy them, like for, and they're shipped and everything like that, because you should comb through those wigs to make sure there's not anything like Ooh. lice or head bugs or anything gross. Yeah. She showed a picture on Facebook. She said, I had to order twice. I said, this is the second time. Let me just open this over the sink. She pulled back like the seam of that wig and there was like three huge lice nope. <laughs> nope. ever since i've seen it my head's been itchy oh no <laughs> oh man ew ew Fuck all ew. of all of all of that <laughs> And it's not like those wigs are in inexpensive either. Mm -hmm. But still, my head's itchy now. Gross. Oh no! I was also uh, talking with Fish earlier about how I have now also started to watch The Mandalorian. Ah, and I am, nice. I'm enjoying it. I'm I'm, nice. only, I'm like six episodes in. Yeah, it's yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I mean it's, it's it's kind of been on my like to do list for a while, but then like you guys have been talking about it, and I was like, mm -hmm. oh, what yeah, was? I'm, a, I'm gonna take a look. We'll, we'll get back to the Mandalorian very quickly, but sure. what, real quick, what the fuck was that show that? Hold on, let me find my. Oh, there's my pen. What the fuck was the name of that sh that sketch show that you recommended? Auntie Donna's Big Ol' House of Fun. Auntie, and it's on <laughs> Netflix. Yeah. Okay, I'll just put Auntie Donna's because that should get me there. Because I yeah. I was gonna start it like literally tonight. I was I was like. I was eating dinner and I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna put that on. And I went uh -huh. on Netflix and I, I completely spaced on the name of the show. Like I knew uh -huh. it was a longer name like that. Like I had the general idea mm -hmm. of of the name, but like so I started skimming through like the front page of Netflix and I didn't see it. And I'm like, I, I think it was like something like Big House. So I like I searched big and I was like no I'm not seeing it. And I searched house and I, I scrolled through a bit of that and I'm like I'm not seeing it. I mean it's I'm weird like, that neither of those did, but I I would imagine big house may might have gotten you the results. Yeah, like I was like I feel like it should be here. So I like the only thing I was left with was either Netflix like is holding a grudge about all the shit I've talked about them, 
uh, over the last like year or two, or I just had the name completely wrong, and I was like, I gotta ask Kettle what the name is, and I gotta write it down, because I want to watch it, I just don't know what to look for. <laughs> yeah. Alright, cool. cool. But yeah, no, Mando is so good. Like, just... Like, it, it's got a very, like, 90s, like, Hercules and Xena vibe to it. Where it's just kind of like a fun adventure. With, like, yeah, that's why, interesting, that's what I, cool I characters. Yeah, I like about it. Yeah, it's kind of just like an adventure per episode with Mando and Baby Yoda blowing yep. shit up and, like... Helping or hindering people along the way, depending upon you know who yeah, they are. Right. He's starting at season one. I didn't know he wasn't on season two. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm I'm a, I'm a newbie, so mm -hmm. I, I finally bit the bullet and subscribed to Disney Plus because I wanted to watch the stuff in 4K. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that like, like they also have a lot of Simpsons episodes too, Kettle. Mm -hmm. They like all of them. I'm pretty sure that's what I was doing. Is the it Simpsons. All of them? I want to say it probably. I mean, they have the Disney owns Fox, so they own. All yeah, that I. Shit, I so they, why it, it, they? A lot of them are on there. I have a lot of those on DVD though, so that's mm -hmm. kind of whatever. Um, I don't yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> let me see. But I, I'll probably I'll probably start a uh, MCU. Oh, yeah. Well, so, I, you know, I kind of had that, like, grandiose thing of, like, oh, I want to get them all on Blu-ray, and, you know, right. I probably eventually will, but, like, I want to watch, I like, I want to start watching them now, but I don't want to start buying them now. So. Right, right. That's another thing, that's another thing I need to do is get Daredevil on Blu-ray, because oh, that's my damn jam. I, I still haven't watched that either, that's on my, like... I'm, in I'm interested in watching, but it's really just there's so much damn stuff out there. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get better about trying to catch up on some shit that I've been oh my god uh, meaning to see. But yeah, start start with Mando. I I'm like six episodes in, and uh, yeah, it's it the things I've seen are kind of true. It's like Star Wars for people who don't give a shit about Star Wars. Yeah, pretty much. Or and even if you do give a shit about Star Wars, you you like. Oh it's yeah, got, you'll still enjoy it. Yeah, it's like, got the granules in there that are very nice, but you don't really need to know fuck all about Star Wars. You can just enjoy yeah. it for what it is. And and I'll be honest, I'm kind of enjoying that there's not any like oh, ma force like light side dark side. Oh my god. Bird, like, yeah, let's just let's just have some adventures and like. Yeah. All that like. Because I mean, it's that other stuff is it's like it's fine. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I think some of that is what gets to me is like what I ended up not liking about eh, some of it, just because it's all just like, ooh. I don't know. I don't care too much about the force. Like lightsabers are great, right. but like, I guess I'm just like, I don't get it. Like, just be, just be good. Probably. <laughs> just think of something funny. Like, yeah. Just, just think of something idea. funny. Yeah. So there no, is it, there is some force stuff because obviously there's fucking Baby Yoda. Sure, sure. sure. But it's it's not really pr the predominant theme of the show at any no, point, no. honestly. No. Anyway, it's it's not that I would entirely mind. It's more it's just, we we were talking about earlier. It's like yeah, uh, the, there's like the cheesiness of it sometimes that I'm not a huge fan of, and. Uh, and then with the most recent trilogy was just the, the marketing that made me just be like, fuck Star Wars, and I'm just, <laughs> I'm just now able to be like, okay, Mandalorian seems fun, and yeah, I, I'm all in on oh, little Steve. Baby Yoda. He is, he is, oh, yeah, I, must Baby Yoda. I, must, I must protect him, like. <laughs> yes. Baby Yoda is very good. Also, like, just the guest stars they have on that show are, like, fucking Dude, I here. love fucking Bill Burr. Playing. Oh, you got to that episode? That's an amazing yeah, that's, episode. Yeah, that's the one I watched tonight, yeah. Yeah, that's when such I a good episode. Her. Yeah, him, he's in it. Um, um, the one weird, like, insect-looking droid. Oh, God. Um, he was voiced by, um, did you ever watch the IT crowd? Yeah. I saw his name. I didn't yeah. know who he played. He played the, the weird insect droid-looking guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought he was maybe one of the X-Wing pilots. No, no. 
but it was one of those like I didn't I didn't recognize I didn't recognize him anywhere in the episode. I just saw him in the in the credits, and I was like, oh shit, like yeah. Um, and then also that episode, the uh, Twilight chick was played by uh, the actress who played Tonks in Harry Potter. That and, doesn't really, I don't. Um, and then wait, hold on, I remember like that, like pretty much everyone on that crew was like a fucking known actor to me. Uh, the oh. dude who played the the giant uh, like devil guy. Uh huh. Clancy Brown. Clancy. That name is also familiar to the, me. But... So, The Bride? Frankenstein's monster from The Bride? Oh. Uh... Yeah, also the main villain from Highlander. That fucking guy. That was him. Uh, and then, like, yeah, if I remember correctly, Mark Boone Jr. from Sons of Anarchy was, like, the grizzled old merc yes. guy that Mando originally went to go see. Yeah. But yeah, that that whole episode, I was just, I was losing my mind, because I'm like, it's just full of actors I really like. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I just really liked how Bill Burr just still had his Boston accent. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Well, there's probably somewhere in the galaxy out there that has that accent. Has that so accent, sure. yeah. Why not? Yeah, it's, it's Bill Burr, and like, he's playing a character, but at the same time, he's really just playing himself. <laughs> But somehow it weirdly uh, fits uh, and works. A down version of himself, I yeah, would say. Yeah, it somehow weirdly still works. Yeah. So oh, yeah, yeah, we're, would, we're just fucking dead. Yeah, this one's a wash. Yeah. I also want to switch up my challenge, too. Uh, uh, it's like I, six I feel, I feel like the doctor from yeah. the last match called his big brother to come teach us a lesson. He meant very well, man. <laughs> it's like, these guys bullied me! Don't worry, kid, I got him. <laughs> ah. Did you see my first Ted Bundy book came today? Yeah, you posted it alongside um, Slimewoods. Yeah, sure. I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was the other thing I was going to say. So, yeah, Disney Plus is great for doing an MCU run-through. I believe that's how me and Fish did the majority of ours. Um, the exception being, uh, unless they've changed something, uh, they don't have The Incredible Hulk. Mm -hmm. For some mm -hmm. weird reason, they, they don't have that one. And, of course, they don't have the Spider-Man movies, which we never watched the second Spider-Man movie, did we? We didn't, no. Yeah. Well, that yeah. actually works out really well for me because those are the two movies that I actually do own on Blu-ray that I bought oh, on Black Friday was the Spider-Man movies. I actually just... That was one of the first... That was, like, the first movie I watched uh, when I got my TV was uh, Homecoming. Nice. You know, we didn't watch the Yeah, second we didn't movie. watch the Spider-Man movie, the second Spider-Man. I also still need to see Venom. Have like, you not seen that at all? No. It's oh, like the one it's... MCU one I've not seen yet. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I really like Spider-Man anyway. Oh, yeah, Sam. And I'm been, a big Spidey I, fan. Yeah, and I've been also playing the Miles Morales game. Ah. And, uh, yeah, it's... I'm 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 big on Spider-Man right now. I'm enjoying a lot of a lot of his work, as it were. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that was just like a rank one killer. No big deal. Oh <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> a rank one uh, crossplay killer too. So holy wow. shit. There is, okay, so one of the Facebook groups that I follow uh, posted a picture and it says your grandparents waiting in line for Star Wars 1977. Tell me why I sat there looking at this picture for a Bernie and got disappointed when there was none. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Bernie on that level just like, <laughs> it's no longer like, where's Waldo is dead, long live, where's Bernie? Where's Bernie, yeah. <laughs> But there's not, so I was really disappointed that there wasn't a birdie in this picture. 
Well, there's, I mean, he, the man's got his platform for, uh, what, 2024? Right mm -hmm. there, already lined up, just like, mm -hmm. just just that, that meme on, on posters. No words. People have too short, too short of attention span. That's man. true. That's too far away. <laughs> that is true. But everything old is new again. Like sometimes they have a mm. way of resurging. Maybe, maybe about four years, the Bernie meme will come back and be popular. Could be. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <sighs> I miss the ones from when like, <coughs> Obama was originally leaving office and like the best friend memes between him and Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, hope, I, I vaguely we, remember those. I hope we get some more of the uh, uh, Onion articles of his like character. I think they could just call him like Diamond Joe. <laughs> and he's really he, he's really big into like muscle cars. <laughs> Oh, all right. <laughs> Shit. There, it was. It was just like I don't know that in in when he was yep. vice president, they did the the character that he wrote. They wrote him as was just fucking hilarious. Diamond Joe Biden. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let me see. There was one of Obama when he was giving him the uh, Purple Heart. Was it the Purple Heart? I forget what he no, was. No, it was the for. Presidential Medal of Freedom. Yes. I think it was. Yes, and like somebody pasted on a BFF Forever <laughs> <laughs> the medal, and it's Joe crying as Duba as Obama's doing this. It's my favorite one. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I love it when bros are bros. <laughs> Holy shit. The character. Joe Biden that the Onion does has a fucking Wikipedia page. Oh, of course. Of course. Yeah, Joe Biden, also known as Diamond Joe or Uncle Joe, <laughs> was a recurring fictionalized characterization of the American politician of the same name in the Onion satirical newspaper, blah, blah, blah. Between 2009 and 2019. Oh, did they stop? Why would you stop? The Onion staff consistently portrayed Biden as an outrageous character who shared almost nothing in common with his namesake besides the title of VP Instead, uh, yeah, they portrayed him as a blue-collar average Joe and, and a goofy uh, goofy uncle, a muscle car uh, driver, avid fan of 80s hair metal, and a, a party animal. <laughs> <laughs> a, a recidivistic petty criminal and drug-dealing outlaw. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they just, they just did a bunch of fucking articles, like, of that being the thing, like, the character. It was so funny. I didn't know that they went, like... In the 2019, I only kind of remember them from back in the day, but oh man, I got a real kick out of them. Holy shit, there's an entire list. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, let's see. Vice President Joe Biden goes on potato gun rampage. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Biden requests to be special, named special envoy to Reno. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, Biden's eBay feedback rating dips below 35%. Oh, no. <laughs> I want to read this one. A recent wave of negative bitter responses posted to Joe Biden's eBay account has for the first time dropped the VP's already unfavorable feedback rating below the 35% mark. <laughs> uh, oh, Onion. It's, yeah, it's so good. Yeah, they have a, they have like a daily short little podcast uh, called The Topical. That's just a very similar, like just kind of like mini news stories and like, oh man, it, I basically I listen to it every weekday when I'm eating uh, my breakfast or whatever. Cause mm -hmm. It's like five to ten minutes usually, and oh, it gives me either a, a like a good chuckle or a like, oh, that's funny and sad. <laughs> <laughs> you never know which one it's gonna be. Yeah. You gotta isn't roll the obvious, dice. Isn't obvious plant a part of them? What? Isn't obvious plant a part of them? The one like, the one uh, that I put like the meme I posted earlier of um, 
the uh, paper wads. The paper logs. Wads. The oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh. Uh, I'm not sure. So I saw that, and it made me. It it gave me like I I kind of really want that to be real, <laughs> because I want to do an experiment. And, and buy one as as a toy for the cats because cats oh, yeah. are, notoriously if you buy cats a toy they don't want fuck all to do with it more often than not but but they also love paper they but yeah no crumple like literal fucking garbage they're like what is this bounty I love this. <laughs> so, this is literal fucking garbage being marketed and sold as a toy. Mm -hmm. So it's a paradox, and I want to I, I wanna get something like that and see how the cats react. If they're like, if they can tell. If they can tell, it's like, yeah, yeah. it's not just random garbage. Like, oh, you, you paid money for this for it's, a specific purpose of giving it, to me? Uh, yeah, like, if, they, if, they're, if they're clever enough to tell, it's like, oh, no, this, this is, like, manufactured garbage. Like, I don't want this. I want the natural, you know, organic garbage. <laughs> yeah. Fair trade garbage. <laughs> yeah, fair trade garbage. It's, it's the only thing I will, I will swat at. <laughs> that meme, just because it was, like, the... the fake toy packaging thing made me think of that one that was just full of ducks it was like <laughs> hours of, yeah i remember yeah, yeah, that hours one. of matthews holy fuck breaks. that fucking that that headband with the oni mask on the back of it was just in my face and i'm like uh it's an oni and he's right behind me oh <laughs> what the nope. fuck oh it's a billy or yeah probably a billy yeah i didn't hear the scream Wait, uh... Oh dear, Wait. he's right there. Ah! Uh, it's Stan Fokker! Oh. Get oh. stunned again! <laughs> oh shit. Is this, is this gonna be the match where I get four stuns off? Oh! Oh, he's got a long beard. It's a long braided beard. He looks like a sperm. <laughs> Dad looks like a sperm. It's hilarious. <laughs> you know how some people, are, their faces and their heads are shaped like a foot, like Sarah Jessica Parker? Sure. Oh, sir, sir. <laughs> Sorry, I was zoned in on the game. No, you're good. Well, his face looks like a sperm. Oh, okay. With that long beard. That long braided beard. <laughs> if you get picked up, take a look. Oh, no. Ah, shit. Oh, dear. Well, I guess I'll just chill here for a minute. <laughs> Wait, unless he's taking you to a... Yeah, he's taking you to a different hook. There, there he goes. Oh my god. Whew, he's hard. I say, are we are we approaching that point in the night where it's just all the sweaty boys? Like... Ah! Hell, I don't even necessarily say sweaty, just really good. Yeah, I mean... Possibly. Like, could be it. But... I ain't worried. Yeah, I'm, I'm not here for a long time, I'm here for a good time. Whee! 
It was me in the corn, bitch. Oh no! Oh dear. <laughs> Wait, there's me. fucking three gen. Wait. Oh fuck. There's so many generators like right around this area. Scoop ya. Try to, anyway. Oh no, Barfy! Oh fuck! Got out of there just in time. Holy shit! Ah! Fuck you, Pallet! Ah, it's so stressful. Oh god, he's right there. Ah! Damn it. You'll be right there. Why did I stop recovering? I didn't let up off the mouse. Uh, he made everybody scream when he downed. Oh, it was one of those fucking things. You got a long beard, though. Is this like a, like, fucking spider eyes? Or are those staples? Those are staples. Yeah, staples and his, like, vacation shirt. <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna run. Hook. All right, Rando, you and me. Oh no. Uh, yep, that's another rank one. Oh, good. <laughs> What the fuck? 
my fault. I'm an ape. I don't even think it's that. I think it's. Oh just, shit! It just might be who's playing right now. <laughs> Sawing through all these fucking pallets, man. <laughs> Whatever, man. Like, you're clearly gonna fucking kill me, so let's play. You wanna play? You wanna do something? Huh? Okay, I think if I get one more, I, I'm gonna do that hellacious challenge that requires me to do this four times a single match. I don't think I'm gonna get it. Not unless he decides to play. He might decide to play. Like, oh fuck. Nope, he oh. ain't playing. Damn it, come on, man. Your blood went spraying. It went a long ways. It went spraying. <laughs> <laughs> I love when I can break the killer's brain. Like, I like I just stop running and sit in front of the pallet. Like I'm gonna stun you, <laughs> and he just stops and stares at me for a few seconds. Like, wait. also he knows Nia's hiding in that locker. He's just standing in front of it. Oh, good. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I might have gotten four stuns. I don't know. I, I things were happening too fast and too furious for me to keep track of all the things that popped up. There's definitely three. Oh, is he gonna wait? Nia, what are you doing? He's being weird. Hey, bud. Uh, there's a pallet over here. I'm just gonna sit by this pallet. Cause you, you got us. Yeah, come over here. I, I need, I need one more pallet stun, please, please. Oh God, come on! Uh. Just let me have the pallet stun, bud. Just one more. I mean, or you can just kill me. I guess you've earned that too. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe I got it. We'll see. I at least got some decent chase points, which I also need to get, so... Yeah. I got all the chase points, apparently. I did not get the challenge. Damn it. What if I can almost get it on a rank 1? It's only a matter of time. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> if you could just but lend me the ring. No. Why not? My name's Boromir, not Skillmir, you overgrown poodle. <laughs> that is very Did you just now find that one? No. Okay, I, I was going to say like, oh my god, like I I'm familiar with that one and I've seen it many times. <laughs> No, I've probably seen a lot of these. Wait, what's he doing? <laughs> oh, he's giving Nia the hatch. Oh. Yeah, he gave Nia the hatch. What the fuck? You couldn't give me one more stun, you fuck? You give Nia the hatch. I mean, that's fine. Like, you could have killed me afterwards. I just needed the one more stun. Dick. Whatever, they're on crossplay. They can't hear me. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't have any more survivor challenges. I was telling Kettle earlier. It's only killer challenges right now. I've got the. Uh, well, now I've got just. Um, I think I have to escape with a new item. It's the only one I've got. And then a killer one. 
I need to get chased as Ash. I should do that. <laughs> I have one perk on Ash. <coughs> Use the bathroom. Oh. You're not allowed. Guess I'll just piss myself then. I guess so. <laughs> well, all right. I'm glad we've established that. Seventy-three point seven K boom box. I'm at a hundred and eight point eight. Wow. Yeah, I only spend them every once in a while. I like to watch the number go up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I found the best birdie one. I'm putting it in Boom's Boom's meme channel. Put something in your meme channel. Oh dear. Ah, there he go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh dear. <laughs> I see Dizzy posted in your games thing because he's talking about New Vegas. Oh, and yeah. One of, one of the Legion guys says I'm a degenerate and belong on a cross. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I posted earlier when you said, when you, when he said uh, he terrorized Good Springs, the monster. <laughs> Sunny Smiles didn't do anything wrong to anybody. Yeah, she's delightful. Uh, that that really gotta, was the thing. I think I think there was like one of my Vegas attempts. What like I started it. I think it might have been my first one, and like I was running around doing her like tutorial quest stuff, and her fucking dog died, and I was oh. like, I was like, this is well, this is unacceptable, and I think I just restarted the game. Oh yeah, you got it, <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like, absolutely not, no. <laughs> Yeah, I had a playthrough where I was just gonna be an asshole. I think it was uh I don't I don't remember when it was, but yeah, I was like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna like totally fuck up Good Springs and all that and like as soon as I did I felt like a massive piece of shit. I was like <laughs> I can't do this. And, but like I was I was still like mean and did whatever in like the rest right. of the playthrough, but just like Good Springs proper, I was like Doc <laughs> is the one who saved me, like Yeah, like you guys get a pass, but everyone else, fuck them. I'm trying to remember what ending playthrough I did with that. Because I, ha I have done a Caesar's Legion ending playthrough. Even though, like, a lot of people are like, oh, I could never do that. Ugh, Legion's awful. Like, yeah, they're awful, but, like... It's content. Yeah, man. Because, yeah, every every like major path you choose in New Vegas gives you like some good story and stuff that you don't get in the other ones. Mm -hmm. So I think the only one I haven't done now or done like a proper playthrough for is uh Mr. House cuz I've done NCR Legion uh and No Gods No Masters. I think that's yeah, that's all and that and Mr. House. Mm -hmm. No gods, no masters being my favorite because you basically just run New Vegas yourself after. Right. After, uh, after you're just like, well, yeah, fuck all these other guys.
But at the same time, Caesar's Legion, you know, they've got a lot of room to talk there with the, you know, all the shit they do. <laughs> I love that one guy, that uh, prisoner that comes out when you, I think you first get to, I think it was to Nipton, where he's like, I won the lottery. Right. It's basically yeah. the lottery is just that he didn't get killed. <laughs> yeah. But like, and, if if you watch him, pretty much every time he just runs off into the wasteland and gets fucking killed by like yeah, he immediately dies. I think I don't think it was no, it wouldn't have been one of my playthroughs. But I think I was watching someone else play it, mm -hmm. and they they encountered him and immediately killed him. <laughs> oh, I won! I won! Bang! <laughs> What'd you win? <laughs> I always let him finish his thing because he has it's like one of my favorite lines in the whole game, which is like, they smell that air. Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> God damn, the writing in that game is so good. Was it... I'm trying to remember. Was it New Vegas or 3 that had like the weird facility that was basically just full-blown HP Lovecraft shit? Uh, are you t talk? Well, I'm not sure. I'm not thinking it's quite HP Lovecraft shit. Like, I just remember going into a facility, and like the deeper I went into it, it was just like some really out there, like straight up horror shit. Mm, that might have been three, though. I'm not as familiar with three. New okay. Vegas is the one I'm most familiar with. I have a with. feeling it was three, I just can't. But at yeah, the same I time, like, I felt like I, I played more of it. Like, I explored more in Vegas. Yeah, I, so I, I want to give it three another good try sometime. That's one of those ones I've, like, kind of picked up and played around with, but never oh, really yeah. finished. Yeah, I've got, like, probably hundreds of hours in three, and I've I've never... I, I don't even think I've progressed that far on the main storyline, huh. let alone beaten it. Uh, yeah. Fallout... Oh, we got a match. Got it. Afterwards. Uh, wait. Lovecraft reference. Excuse me? Oh, that's Fallout 4. No. Because I haven't played any of Fallout 4. Um. Pikmin Gallery... Dunwich Building in Fallout 3. Okay, I think that might have been it. Okay. I'll have to look up what the Dunwich Building in Fallout 3 is and, like, have someone tell me what, what it's all about and then it'll be like, oh yeah, that was it, or not. Yeah. But... For what, like, because it was like a Reddit post of someone just like asking about Lovecraft connections and Fallout series and listing the ones that they had found. And I saw one from three and one from four. I don't think I saw any from New Vegas. So yeah, it was probably three that I'm thinking of. Gotcha. Yeah, because there's not, there, there's like a few weird, like, sci fi type of things in New Vegas, but I don't really think yeah. of anything as always being really horror. Yeah. Wait, which Lori is one of you? It's me, at the gen with you right now. Okay. I see something moving around down there. Ow! Is that party tit? Click with me what you said there. <laughs> it is he party like, tit. Is that party tit? Like, ah, what? party tit! 
Oh, it's fuck fucking fuck. party tip. Oh. Oh dear. Kick it. He's on my back. Oh, what's she coming? No, he's on my back. No, no, oh, no, she no. coming. She You son of a bitch. You little fucking Ooh. demon motherfucker! I kicked it! <laughs> Kick that fucking baby! <laughs> Shit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lori, you're not gonna heal me? Well, what fuck the hell? you too! <laughs> eh, you probably wouldn't have had time, but still. Oh god. Oh dear. Forgot I don't have sprint burst, huh? Oh, he was over there as a beacon, that little bastard. I'm not used to that. <clears throat> uh oh. Can't we help you? You little fucking what bastard! The fuck? Jesus Christ! Oh no, devour Surprise hope! Surprise the shit out of me! Jesus Christ! Ah, demon! Demon! Yeah, this this map works really well for that killer because they can just hide that little bastard in the grass. Yeah. Because I know I don't know I've gotten got by his like radar thing a couple times this match. Get off of me, demon.
Yeah! Yeah, you little shit. You can't crush that, can you? Oh, shit. Fucker? No! I want to kick the baby. Oh, oh. God! Oh. Oh, no. oh dear! Oh god! Oh fuck! I thought, oh shit! I thought she had oh, to retain no. control of the baby while he was on there. I thought it was safe to heal. Okay. My bad, I slipped. I didn't mean to. Oh, oh I think I found Devourer Hope. I found something that's glowing. So Get let's it. get in the fuck out of here. As long as the party tit doesn't come and spoil my good time. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Oh, Lord, he's coming. Oh, God! Oh, uh, you little fucking gremlin? Straight for you guys. Oh shit. Oh, Charlotte, what? Oh, right, Devour Hope. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> over in the corner where that gen is. Wow. Uh, but. She. She. I don't, she just, I don't matter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm about to get married, I think. You can try and jump off, right? Uh, oh, never yeah, I tried. It didn't really work too well. Oh, that's fine. I don't think I've been worried by her before. Oh. Even though it doesn't even involve the baby, so that's kind of dumb. Yeah, you have, like, a demon child in this game now, and you're oh, not... Oh, I, I think it maybe depends on if he's there, because he was uh, not... Yeah, he was sitting in the in corner her. still, I think. But yeah, like you got you got the opportunity of that thing, and you don't have her Mori be like a recreation of that scene from Dead Alive, where the zombie baby like literally burrows through that chick's head and rips her face in half. Mm hmm. Like, come on, like. Wow! Don't look at their name. Just hit continue. Oh no. Actually, it's kind of funny, but never mind. It's not funny at the same time. Oh. Oh, it's, I thought... it's 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 like kind of offensive. It's not like yeah, it's not. It's, it's not gonna not... get you banned right now. It's just okay. <laughs> just it's just edgy. Yeah, it's it's that type of shit. Yeah. I need another snack. What now? I'll have time. I'll be back. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think I got one more in me. I'm starting to get a little tired, but... Yeah, sounds good. I want to sleep. Fucking... Probably for a while, because... <laughs> my girlfriend's not coming over till the afternoon time. Probably around, like, two or so. So I'm gonna just... Uh, try and relax and just get a big old chunk of sleep. Hell yeah. Because it's, yeah, been not as great this week. Just, like, sometimes I'll, like, wake up and, like, it'll just be really bright in my room. And I'll be like, fuck. <laughs> this has already done its damage. Thanks a lot, Mr. Sun. Like. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. This shit again? Come yeah. on. It's every fucking day with this shit. Well, what the hell? 
No, like, that is one thing I have noticed about new place. There are some mornings where the sunshine is, like, really fucking bright, even through the mm. blinds. You gotta get, you gotta get your blackout curtain. Yeah, I mean, I do also sleep with, like, one of those sleep masks. So right, right. That helps, but... Yeah, it just kind of depends, but now this week's just been kind of one of those, like, a wake up or I'll have, like, some shit to deal with, and then I'll be like, okay, now I'll just go lay back down for a little bit longer, and then it's like, nah, you, you're you up now, man. Oh, yeah, no. You don't, you don't get to go back to sleep. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Fine, I guess I'll put on the coffee. Like, <laughs> yeah, that tends to be just how I work in general, like, regardless of how little sleep I get. Like, if I, if I wake up, and it's not for, like, a shuffle to the bathroom to drain my bladder and then I immediately mm. lay the fuck back down. Like, if I have oh, to get yeah. up and do, like, anything beyond that, like, I'm basically just up, regardless of how tired I am. The one thing that is kind of nice is because there's, like, a street light and then there's, like, kind of a, a light that's behind me due to, like, there's, like, a parking lot kind of close by, so it, like, uh, shines just bright enough to not be distracting in there. But it lights my bathroom just enough to where I, if I don't want to, I don't have to turn the light on to oh, just go yeah. like go like take a piss. Mm -hmm. Like, you gotta, you gotta be careful because it's still kind of dark. But like, <laughs> right. when, when you're when you're in that like pitch black, like just woke up and your eyes are adjusted to the dark, like yeah, you, yeah. you you can you can make it work. I've been I've been doing that because man, that's one of my least favorite things. It's like oh, gotta pee. Oh, I'm blind now. Yeah, no, that that alone is is why I very much. Um, enjoy having basically just made the full transition of like you know what I gotta pee I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna sit on the toilet to pee oh yeah like I'm just gonna be that much of a lazy piece of shit like it comes in real handy <laughs> for for those late night like in the dark I gotta go use the bathroom moments where you don't want to wake up or turn on a light cause you just you, you walk in there's just enough ambient light to be like alright well there's the <laughs> seat yeah sit down Cool. I'm done. Now I can shuffle back and pass back out. Oh, yeah. It's very handy. <clears throat> and tomorrow night, or rather, tomorrow I'm going to go see about getting a new uh, comforter for the bed, because ah. the one I have is a little bit... Well, first of all, it's, like, the wrong size for the duvet cover. Like, right. I don't even know why, but it it doesn't match up super well so i want to do that and then also yeah just get a bit of a more thicker one because mm -hmm. my room gets a little chilly at night oh yeah but that's going to be a little excursion tomorrow and i'm seeing my girlfriend for the first time in like two weeks tomorrow so that'll hey be nice. yeah because like even though we both were uh fine on the COVID test we were just kind of like well let's be extra safe and it's like okay like quote unquote, yeah. two weeks or whatever but then we're gonna yeah go out to go uh, get that and probably get some takeout dinner and just kind of chill and, and all that. Nice. Yeah, I'm I'm <coughs> I'm looking forward to trying and just getting some damn relaxation in this oh, weekend because. Yeah. Uh. Well, mon or Monday may or may not be too stressful. It'll depend. But mm -hmm. basically, like, uh, well, like a work meeting type of thing. And it's just like where I am pretty heavily involved and just kind of nervous. So I'm like, Ugh. oh, yeah. One was like public speaking anxiety type things. A little bit, yeah. yeah. It's not like a huge number of people, it's just more like. Yeah, it's still it's being, a presentation where, spot. yeah, all yeah. eyes are going to be on you. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's the worst. Like, I can do like yeah. panels all sure. day like if it's like literally now, literally, literally more than one person that's that's not just me so like two people three people four people like yeah i can do that shit all day because i can just sit there and play off of people if it's just me up there yeah I'm like yeah i'd rather not <laughs> no, I mean, it's, fortunately i am gonna have like some people from my team on the meeting thing with me but it's mm. just the like it's so like an like, obligation response obligation and yeah just anytime i have to do that kind of stuff i'm like Ugh. <laughs> but 
No, nah, we, we, we prepped a little bit today, so I'm feeling kind of better about it. So that, that also led to just like, yeah, feeling like kind of just generally better tonight and being like, oh, yes, okay, time to do the weekend relax a little bit here. Yeah. And then I got to run the errands and shit. Like, it's it's going to be a busy Monday, so I'm going to be like, like, all right, let's 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 try to get as much <laughs> uh, enjoyment out of the weekend as possible. Hell yeah. Next week is my last week on the phone. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Pretty excited. I've spent off the phones at least this week. Maybe last week, too. I can't remember. I know she's very happy about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I definitely need a mental break. Yeah. I've been going strong on phones for about four years, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is a log dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so Charlie. (laughs) Yeah, and then next weekend we got Spook Show. Oh, yes. I'm excited. Oh, so am I. Which one you got left? Um. Hold on. I have to look. End of days? End of days, yeah. Ah, I was about to say, like, you don't gotta look. I know all four movies we've got. I can just list them. I can remember (laughs) which ones I watched already. Like, I mean, I know I titles and people's names are not always things that I remember. Right. Well, I remember both of them, which is why I was just gonna be like, yeah, you don't gotta look shit up. I'll just list them. (laughs) And I'll start with the one I think you haven't seen yet, because I remember you mentioning the other ones. Ah, I still gotta watch all of them. Yep. <laughs> My life wasn't busy enough. <laughs> nah, I'll, I'll get them done. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I thought Spook Show was this weekend, which is why half of them got watched really early. Oh. <laughs> and yeah, I, we had and a really yeah, big gap. Yeah, because... Well, because we had the holidays, so we were doing it, like, a week earlier. Uh, And now we're out of the holiday thing, so we can transfer it back to the actual last weekend of the month. Mm -hmm. And there's, like, an extra weekend this month, I think. That's true, that's true. Because I was looking at my calendar. Oh, no. Because, yeah, I was looking at my calendar and uh, noticed that. I was like, wait, is it, like, five or something? Yeah, I think there's, like, five weekends Mm -hmm. this month. Of course, next month I imagine it would be fewer weekends. Oh, yeah, since, yeah. Uh, yeah. It'd be in February. Don't oh, worry. Yeah, no, as, as always, like, I'm excited to do the show and hear what everybody's got to say. Oh, shit. Sorry. Hello. And I'm, I'm excited to find out who wins and what next month's theme is going to be and, like, what the movies are going to be. Although, I guess, I got to say, like, this, this season. I'm gonna I'm gonna start swinging. Yeah, you better. I'm I'm gonna start. You haven't won. Yeah, I haven't won a single one. I, oh, I did. No. I tallied it up. Um, I I think I told Fish this. Um, I don't think I don't think I mentioned it to you, but yeah, I tallied everything up from last year. Um, Fish has won the most number of times with five. Um, and you've won four, and I believe Neff has won two. Damn. And I I have won zero. <laughs> So, yeah, and, like, as much as I like doing blind watches for my picks, I'm gonna start yeah. swinging. I'm gonna start picking stuff that I've seen before that I, I, at least, at the very least, I know I'm gonna really like. Uh-huh. What? Like, I have the opportunity to have a shoe in for, like, some easy points if I just pick something I know I really like. So, uh, I'm gonna start taking shots. <laughs> That's why I'm so excited about season two and you doing that is because I know you're gonna pick really good ones and I have not seen a lot and I've seen a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm excited for that. <clears throat> but even then, it's it, like the thing, and that's kind of the thing I love about the whole format is that even with me like saying like I'm gonna do this, it's not a guaranteed win for me. 
Um, right. Because, like, I've kind of gotten a better sense, like, from last year, I've gotten a better sense of, like, what you guys like and dislike. Which you would assume would make it easier for me to, like, cater, like, a winning movie. But not really, because the tastes are kind of varied. They're varied enough that it's like, yeah, this could land with, like, Kettle, but, like, I don't know if it's going to land with Neff or... Yeah. Like, yeah. That is true. We all do have, like, we have some common things, but there are subsections of like just taste and genre mm -hmm. that we all differ from like big time yeah and there's like because like honestly like there's been some stuff that is like that's been thrown out there that um like i wasn't sure how people were gonna dig it or whatnot or like i kind of had a preconceived notion of like oh, i don't know if like yeah. This person's gonna like this movie, and then turns out like, nah, they loved it. Like, like I think the the night like the real pleasant surprise was like how much you really enjoyed uh, Audition last year. Oh and yeah, and I was yeah. like, because it's a movie I also like. I I really like it. It's good, but it's also kind of a weird one. So it's like I don't know how they're gonna react to Audition. So for you to then be like, no, I really dug it. I was like, that's awesome. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure it, well it's hard to tell with spirit right like if it's rank one or just fucking spirit it's probably a rank one it's probably a rank one <laughs> but even oh, if it's kind of even if it's not it's the fucking spirit so yeah she's easy even at like 20 yeah but whatever, I just broke. Like a once dull you get down the fact totem. that you're supposed to live. Oh hi! Here. How the fuck did you know I was up here? Wait, you are like up in oh in the building. Okay, I just yeah. saw your outline in the trees and I thought you were glitching. <laughs> no. I wish it might have given me a fighting chance. I just I want to know how the fuck she knew I was all the way up there. Uh, maybe. Uh... Oh. God. Ah. <laughs> Oh, I did wiggle free though. Bye bye. Oh boy. What was I saying? Wait. I don't know, but I wiggled free and she just kind of left. Let me go. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. Um. So these oh, headphones, yeah, really good for killer. Ah. Oh, nice. Because once I put the volume up, it's muffled just enough that I can actually hear which way things are coming from. Nice. I really love it for DVD. Oh no! I don't love that Kettle's dead for DVD. No. Not ideal. We have second Kettle here. <laughs> She's kind of cute with her little jean shorts and leggings. Oh, hello. I will slide into your loving arms, madam. Uh, I guess that's just the thing I'm gonna do. <laughs> I say, I think you mean Walmart kettle. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's a rank six. So oh, not, well. uh, yeah. Still pretty high up there. Oh, yeah, they, uh, they never know what they're doing. Oh, thank you. Oh my god. We only need one more gen. Holy shit. Yeah, you guys have a chance. Yeah. Charlie is uh, being chased right now. Yeah, so we're definitely getting this up, and I do have adrenaline, so... And there is a door right here. I'm gonna go to the other one. Alright. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. Oh, uh, yeah, I need this for the daily, so yeah, if I get this open, I'm gonna just run. Run! Yeah. And it is... Open! Alright, I'm out. Oh! Oh, I'm definitely yeah, out. Bye bye uh -huh. I'm gonna get this open.
fuck. Well, I do need to get chase. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> City? What? Pick City? The perfect Pick City? What's that? I don't know. It's got that Pixicity. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. But yeah, that's that's gonna do it for me. Yeah. Get the sleepies. Yeah. <clears throat> good night, cattle. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good night and uh, yeah. Thanks for the games and all that. And I will talk to you later on. Hell yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. Good night. 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 Do you know what I think? Uh. I think that when Slimoids is out, everybody needs to read it. <laughs> I mean, I'd agree. Because, like, Quad Pod. <laughs> Favorite. Every time. That middle one. I feel like I've seen that image before. I feel like I've seen it before, and I don't know where, but I'm having weird deja vu moments about middle it. Middle one. Yeah, the, so on the cover, the one in the middle. Uh, the one that looks like a pair of scissors. Hold on. He's the one that has trouble closing his mouth all the way, right? Oh. You should show him on stream. Yeah, no, the one in the middle is Quad Pod. Oh, is that Quad Pod? Yeah. Okay. Uh. I didn't know which were which from the pictures except for the hand one. Yeah. Um, yeah, Quad Pod's the one in the middle, and then the one on the left is Green Bay I swear to God, I've seen him before. I don't know where. I also don't know where, because for my money, he's the, the most unique and different looking one of all three of them. Because, like, like, Green Bastard, like, kind of looks like Crumb, and then the hand is just a big old hand. <laughs> uh, I guess that would have had been Green Bastard, because he was the one that better. You remember mm -hmm. the eye stock thing? Yeah, yeah. Also, the hand has six fingers. Oh, yeah, he does. You know what? I think... Wait, do I... I don't know. I can't remember. Somebody... And I'm not that far in, so I need to go somebody back. Somebody mentioned... I feel like somebody mentioned that. I counted them. I was sitting there going, one, two, three, four, four. Wait, something's yeah. off. <laughs> well, then that's definitely a detail I think I missed when I was writing it, and I should add in, because I just... I looked at... I didn't look that closely. <laughs> I looked at the color and, like... Well, I mean, I look closely, and I yeah, I look closely enough to, like, describe it. The one thing I didn't do was count the number of fingers, because I was just like, yeah, that's that's like a hand. So hold on, this is greeny. Oh. I don't know, were we still playing? Uh, no, I'll probably wrap it up. Uh, I'm just, I'm looking for this though, really quick. For what? So, to figure out if you mentioned it or not. Oh, I can almost guarantee that I didn't because it took you mentioning it just now for me to be like, oh right, he does, doesn't he? 
So I can guarantee you I, I did not notice that until... Just, like, I feel like someone else mentioned it at some point, but I think even that was, like, after I had written it. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> This is what I was doing at 1 a.m. I was sitting here reading up to chapter 3, just giggling my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> that was very good to know. <clears throat> yeah, no. It was just the thing where he was shifting side to side and he looked like he was waving at her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's where I fell in love with him. <laughs> Wait, which one? Quad Pie? Uh, no, just them in general, but Quad is my favorite. Uh, all right, all right. Quad is my absolute favorite. Everybody better stop bullying him. <laughs> <laughs> Be mad. for tonight thank you everybody for hanging out and watching good time we got some progress in resident evil i may be able to beat it next week Let's see um oh my god i threw out like for the adept zarina i was like it's a it's like a crime that only 0.9 percent of players have this achievement i just threw out a number was like, it 0.9? And it is 0.9. Like, <gasps> like, it was kind of an educated guess because I, I just, like, when I opened the game, I saw the Adept Steve achievement was 1.1%. And Zarina is newer than C Steve, so I knew the number was lower than that. Almost certainly. And I just, like, took a shot in the dark and holy fuck, I was dead on. <laughs> so what's a Lodi gotta be? Like, 0. 0.56? Um, Let's see. Point five or six actually might. Oh yeah. Uh, stats. It's probably. Uh, how do uh, we point see? four. It's point four. Point four. Okay. Yeah. Uh, rarest adept achievement is adept blade with point three percent. Dizzy's huh. got it. Dizzy does have it. Yeah, and Felix is point five. Dep Deathslinger, 0.6. Oni, 0.6. Demogorgon, 0.7. Plague, 0.9. Plugway. Cheryl is a 0.9. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy town. Oh, I also got Selfless Survival tonight. Heal a survivor from the dying state to the injured state 30 times in public matches. Hey, I did that. 7.2% have that achievement. <laughs> oh, DVD. But anyway, that'll do it for me for tonight. Uh, I'll be back Monday with some movies. We ain't got anybody... Ain't nobody pick nothing, so I might pick both of them. Which is fine. I thought Carisu was gonna pick. I mentioned it, and then... Uh, uh, I don't think he claimed anything. I didn't uh -huh. see him claim anything, so but it's out in the ether. Like he's aware he's aware it's a thing he can do now, so uh -huh. if he wants to do it he can go. But at the moment there's it's just me picking both of them, which that's that's fine. I got movies I can pick. Um what movie you can pick? Probably from the list of stuff that's on Prime that I own and haven't seen yet, so let's see. I can, I can make this docket right now. Uh, let's see. That's good. That's a fair number. I can go with um, Creature from Cannibal Creek. And, uh, let's say Clay. 
I think Ooh. it's a golem movie. That sounds like one. Yeah. Pretty sure from Cannibal Creek. That's, uh, Seb didn't make it, but I believe Seb is in it as an actor. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. He's pretty cool. Yeah, like, no, I, I really... come up with stuff like, I mean, like, I know, like, it's it's based off of the film, but, like, at the same time, like, to come up with a concept like this. And was he also Black Animator? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Those are, those are both his. Pretty, pretty weird in the head. Oh yeah, no, he's got like. he's got such a bizarre imagination and in creativity that it gels so well with like my own. It does. Which was well, like the part of the like working on like anim- the like animator adaptation and then slimeoids, like where I would throw ideas at him and. Like, he would just eat them up and be like, yes, absolutely, yes. Like, we're, we're like, operating on nearly the same wavelength, so it makes, like, those sorts of collaborations a lot of fun. Where I'm just like, yeah, I can just go fucking hog wild, and he's probably gonna love it. <laughs> yeah, that'll be Monday. Future from Cannibal Creek and Clay... So, yeah. Uh, take a quick peek. There it is, twitch.tv. Fucking music on the front page. There you go. Uh, every fucking time. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna let auto host take over. I'm tired. I have to use the bathroom, so... Auto host it is. Auto house wins the day. Plus, I've been doing good about doing the raids and raiding new people. For sure. But my brain is buzzed, and I ain't even had a sip of liquor, so that's that's not fun. So I'm gonna go away and go uh, go, go chill. But have a good night and weekend, everybody. I'll see all y'all motherfuckers later. Bye.